Hello YouTube and welcome to another general vlog video. Today the work continues in the shed to tiny house. So we're still we're working up here like I told you guys yesterday. I followed a few ideas of people that had commented and sent me emails. So I've already got this board here cut and I've got it laying up there. Uh, it, it's not up there yet just with one screw. So I'm getting ready to put that in and then I think I'll probably have to stop and run my wiring because the reason I'm using the 2x4 here is this is going to create a little channel for me to be able to run my wiring in. So I think I'm going to stop and do that. And I've got to figure out exactly how I'm going down and out and about and around with my wiring. And I know one of these switches here will be my interior light, which will be the one light that's up here, uh, it'll be all the way up in the peak, hopefully some type of like a little chandelier. And then the other one will be for my outside light, but I don't have, I don't have it figured out how I'm going to do my outside lights yet. So I got to stop it and figure that out. So let's get busy. I just wanted to bring you guys back and show you one other thing that I noticed that, that I'm going to have to address pretty quick. And let me try to get you over here where you guys can see where I'm at and get something to poke with. Uh, this screwdriver will be just fine. And if you'll notice over here, these headers are done wrong. These headers should be the two by should be over top of this two by four. But that's I I'm not going to change it. It would be tearing walls down and stuff, and I'm just not going to do that. But I have a gap here, uh, quite a bit of a gap. If you can see, I can stick that screwdriver, you know, in there quite a bit. And that's going to screw me up when I go to do my casing around my window. So I'm, I think I can probably just drill a screw up through it and then come into the side and put one in. But I do want to remember to take care of that. Okay, so, so far, I had to start running wiring. And I got this down to here. And this is for my ceiling light. Eh, you guys can't see my ceiling light. And then up here, I know this isn't the proper box to use up here, but they are out of light boxes. And I needed something for measurements and everything. So I put this one up here temporarily. Let me get you guys up here where you can see. Uh, I can't see it in the camera. But anyways, right up in there, there's a ceiling box. And let me let me turn the light off. Maybe you guys can see a little bit better. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to find it in the camera myself. Ah, oh, there it is. You can see it right up there. So that's going to be for my ceiling light. And it's going to be in the dead center of the room on each side of the loft. Which is also going to be center with my TV. Um, so now I'm going to work on, let's go outside and I'll explain to you what I'm doing out here. Okay, as you guys can see, we don't have a lot of headroom, but we got enough that we could put a light. Sorry about that, the neighbor over there was asking me a question. So, I don't have any way to access up in here to run a light. So, I'm just going to do the typical putting a light on each side of the door. Yes, I want one on each side. So I'm getting ready to kind of measure. Um, I, I've already looked at the outside light that's on the house over here and I'm gonna kind of get the same thing. So I'll show you a way that I'm going to use it to figure out where I want it. All right, this grinding disc is about like a 16th of an inch of what I need. This will be the base of the light that will go up there. So I'll put that up there. I don't want to go up in here. I want to bring it down in here. I'm going to go get my tape measure. Hold on just one second. And we'll try to get them to where they make sense to me. And I think three inches down will be just about perfect. 
and we want to center them in the center of that. So right there I'm going to want a hole. And then on this side, now we've got them double 2x4s in here that are going to kind of mess us up. Three inch. And we'll kind of get it centered there. That's three inch. So those are going to be for our two outside lights. So now back inside. Yeah, you know, that disc that I took off was just off my angle grinder. It's a thin disc, but you could do it even with a thick one. Let me put that back on so I don't lose it. There we go. So now I got to figure out to run a power. I, I want to drill my holes first, and it's going to come through these two two by fours, and we're going to have to angle it and do a turn. It's going to be relatively hard. I'm watching a little baby squirrel out here. Uh, I guess he'd be considered a teenager. He's not real small. He's not big either. So anyways, we're going to have lights coming through. What? And it's got to be positive going clear over to here, which I'm going to end up putting a junction box over here for the positive because it's going to feed my outside lights, my one inside light, and my couple plugs that's going to be in here. That, that's all it's going to be on it. Uh, I am going to, however, run two plugs separately on the outside. If you'll remember, if you'll watch some of the older videos, uh, let me move this ladder out of the way. You guys remember that right here and over there on that side, we had plug boxes. Now this plug box was mounted on the wall out here. You can still see the, the four screws. This one just went through and went to a plug box out toward the front. Well, I don't want that. I don't want to see wire on my porch and everything. So I'm going to put two plug boxes in the corner. I would rather have had them down lower. But, you know, then I'm going to have a hole that I have to contend with. I'm just going to put them up there. I do believe we don't even have to worry about that right now. Because that's not part of this header problem up here. I'm just kind of telling you in advance what I'm going to be doing. So let me get off of here. And by getting off here, I mean, let me just pause this and get my holes drilled and figure out how to get line to come up and through there. And we'll get a switch wire run for the lights. And I've already got my switch wire run. It even says ceiling light on it. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, how do you decide to put the ceiling light on this side? Because I know how I am when I come in the door and I've got a handful of stuff from grocery shopping or something and I come in, I want to be able to use my elbow and bump that light on because I want to see where I'm going, not where I've already been. So I'm going to put the ceiling light on the closest to the door and put the outside light closest to the window. So it'll take me a little while to get used to it, but that's the way I set up just about every place I work on. You're not going to believe my luck. Look at this. Hope I can get you guys in there where you can see it. I'm going to have to kind of angle the tripod a little weird here. See that hole? It was right beside that 2x4. So no kind of crazy wiring going around corners or nothing like that. And... Alright, so I had to stop and do a little bit of wiring. So, <laughs> I got a cluster over here, people. So this is my ceiling light, my main, and my two outside lights. I left them a little bit long. Yeah, I know, I got to figure out how to wire them in there and get them a little bit better. But I got this up here is what I was after. Uh, I've got my main coming over here and my outside lights uh, actually... Yeah, my outside lights. So next will be my main power going up there. But all that, that's neither here nor there. So basically what we got to do up here is now we got to finish this end up here with the 2x4, allow my channel. As you can see, i got a wire hanging over there. That is my main. 
that will feed this side of the room. So, and I don't have to worry about running that into the breaker right now because I got a table, as you guys can see, in the way over there and all that good stuff. So, I just need to get a measurement on this one, get it cut, get it put up, and then we can start working on the header itself. So, let me get busy and get this one piece up there real quick. Okay, and we got that one up there finished, as you can see. Now we have a nice little channel for our wire to run into. Once again, to reiterate, I have a main wire going across. I have one going to an outside light, one going to another outside light. Uh, a main coming clear over here that will be a junction box. You guys can't see what I'm pointing at. We need to fire the cameraman. A main junction box that will go in here. That will feed this side of the room. Uh, other than that, I think we're done. I mean, that's, uh, I don't have enough time on this video. I'm so sorry that I don't have enough time to run that header up there. Uh, it's going to be really in-depth. I've got to rip it down. i got to figure out exactly how I'm going to do it. But we got this part done, and we got the wiring done for this side of the room. Luckily, I put a double game box in down here, uh, which you guys can see right here. So that's going to be able to be kind of a junction box and kind of a... Well, maybe it don't have to be. I don't know. I, I don't know exactly where I'm going with on this yet. It's going to be kind of hard to tack in wires in there. Anyways, I'm rambling on because I'm trying to think at the same time I'm trying to speak, which I know I'm not blonde, but oh well. You know how the jokes go. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Uh, like the video. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Click that bell notification once you do. Go all the way up to the top and click all. And that way you'll be notified every time we do a video. And yeah, I know you guys keep seeing me look down. I feel like you guys are really, really, really crooked. Maybe that's better? Anyways, share us on your social media pages. And speaking of which, follow us on Facebook at General Vlog Video. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And don't forget, I may have kind of figured out what I'm doing here thanks to a lot of my YouTube subscribers that sent me emails and commented. But I'm still my own cameraman, which means we got to get up close and personal. I've got to poke you guys in the ear to turn this thing off. So we'll get that done. I hope you guys have a super, super great day. See you on the next video.